In verse 46, he says, I have come. This is the consequence or the result of having been sent. I have come as light into the world so that everyone, whosoever, believes in me will not remain in darkness. Friends, see the love. Hear the grace. Whosoever. I have come as light into this dark world so that those of you who have begun living like moles, comfortable in the dark, just rooting out pathways through the mud and the dirt, he said, I don't want you to live there. I don't want you to die there. I don't want you to spend eternity separated in the dark. I've come as light that you will see. I've come that you would know this truth and be set free. Friends, I ask you to think about just a couple of these things. Whosoever, again, amazing grace. Amazing grace. If you will say yes and surrender to Christ, if you will cry out to Jesus and say, Lord, please fill me with the miracle of your saving grace. Give me the want to to repent. Give me the want to and the courage to surrender. Give me the grace to walk with you. Please. He will. This is the promise. Now, he's also very clear, and he said, those that will not. And friends, make no mistake, there is no cheap grace to be found with the God of the Bible. There is no cheap grace to be found with the God of the Bible. The gospel grace that we have was bought on the cross, and it knows no compromise, zero. I don't know if you picked up on it, but Jesus said, I've come so that you will not remain in the dark. Don't miss that, friends. Remain tells you and me that that's the default position. You start in the dark. If you are one who have said, no, listen, I've pulled myself up by my bootstraps. I may have started off in a rough place in life, but I've made it now. Look around. I've got what it takes. If this isn't light, I don't know what light is. That's not light. That's a lie. For the only true light that will light your soul and take you into eternal life comes from Jesus the Christ. And I ask you, friends, please don't remain in the dark. Please don't allow those that you know and love to remain in the dark. You and I as Christians, we we don't have the power to pull them out of the dark. We can't bring them into the light. But what we can do is we can talk about the light. We can bring light in and show them and hopefully be infectious in our faith. Be passionate and zealous in our communications and in our love. Be real, sacrificial, transparent. The sent one going to shine so that others don't stay in the default position of darkness. Let us be those ambassadors, friends. This is such a powerful point. See, if you don't believe the default position is darkness, you won't bother going to try to rescue. The song that we just sang, we need to be captured by grace. If you don't think that you or others are in darkness, You're comfortable with the status quo. You think you'll ride this thing out. And a good and loving God at the end will weigh some scales and say, well, you were basically a good person, so you're in. That's a lie. You're basically a bad person and you don't deserve anything. It's the grace of God, the unmerited favor, coupled with the mercy where he doesn't give us what we do deserve. Miraculously changed by his spirit. That's what shining says. Shining. 